Hello everyone, and as you can see, this is the YU EU, I don't know what it's called, 986 uh, heat panel for separating the sensor from the LCD. So we are using 84 uh, Celsius heat uh, to separate uh, the um, LCD or the sensor from the LCD. And uh, of course you have to let the heat get through the LCD, otherwise you can't enter a specific area of the LCD, which I recommend to go with the top left or the right. Uh, of course that depends on the iPad which uh, in our case, this is an iPad mini 5. Uh, so uh, of course using the wire, which is the diamond alloy line for glass peel string. Uh, so now we are going to show you the process. It's a little bit hard. So that's why in this video, I have some help from my colleague. So uh, this is the angle that I uh, take from here, as you can see, it's a little bit hard, but anyhow, you will get the idea and of course uh, let's process the work. Of course the secret is in the heat and if you enter the right angle with the wire between the glue and the sensor just to make sure not to damage the LCD or the polarizer. if you have a good LCD of course. In my case we just need the sensor to be in one piece. And also I would like to mention that uh, we are not using any chemicals uh, to make the glue uh, smoother to remove. So we are doing the same process more than once just to make sure that, the every uh, that everything is, okay, is going smooth. And um, it's a very hard angle to shoot with my camera, but the important thing is that the idea and the after work. Okay, so now after we separated the good sensor from the bad LCD, let's go back to my station and of course we have to clean it from the original glue. Uh, now of course this one comes my job to clean it and of course I would also show you how to do it. Now there's two options, of course first one is heating, so you can use the heat to remove the glue as you can see. I will speed it up. And the other option is to use an alcohol to remove, which I will show you. Uh, but uh, the first is a little bit dangerous because your finger will burn and from the heat. So that's why I'm going for the second option that I will show you now. So, as you can see, I turned uh, to option number two, it's more accurate, I guess, and this is the result that you will get after you clean the sensor. It's harder than it looks like because it will take time for you to clean it. And uh, now, of course, we are going to test the sensor with the bad LCD just to make sure that we didn't damage the sensor when cleaning it or removing it uh, from the bad LCD. And also we are going to do that uh, by connecting the iPad with good sensor to my MacBook and test it using the QuickTime screen recorder. Uh, I will show you all the process in a moment. And uh, yeah, I guess uh, after that we are going to remove the LCD from the bad sensor and we are going to test it if everything is okay. And if our work is okay, um, <clears throat> we are going to uh, glue the good sensor to the good LCD and uh, we'll finish the work. I guess, um, I mean, in the end, that's, that's what we are doing in this video. So uh, let's go. So, let me show you how to check if the sensor is working. And uh, of course, if you don't have a good LCD like me, so uh, search for a QuickTime player and go to, um, to file and choose new movie recording and then change it uh, in the red button after connecting the iPad to uh, your iPad. And of course, you can see it creates like a screen record for your iPad on your Mac. So I guess it's the most grateful and useful thing about QuickTime player, which is for me the worst media player in the world. But anyway, as you can see, the sensor is working fine with no problems. Um, 
So I guess let's make something useful from this program and check the sensor. So now I'm going to show you the good LCD and then we're going to remove the glass from it. Uh, so I guess, yeah, let's continue. So this is the good LCD that uh, I bought it from eBay, 40 bucks. Um, and also I would like to mention there is a one last thing in the end of the video I will talk about that will shock you a little bit, but um, anyhow, um, let's check the LCD. Let me just turn off the dark mode. A little bit or the backlight. Okay, I'm just going to show you that the LCD is good. There is no, there's nothing on the backlight. The backlight is clean. So uh, I guess now, again, we are going to uh, remove or separate the LCD from the sensor. And again, test the LCD, the good LCD with the good sensor. Let's go. everything now uh, the good LCD the iPad and the good sensor with good glass and uh, now let's go and check if everything is okay I'm going to test the LCD of course um, now we're going to clean also the glue with alcohol but of course you have to be very careful because uh, if you set a lot of alcohol on the screen it might get through the backlight uh, so please be careful it's just glue don't rush and uh, of course um, I will show you how I clean the glue, uh, so you can do it uh, by yourself. I will demonstrate it for you. And uh, after all, I said the step by step in the beginning of the video. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I guess, yeah. Now let's speed forward just to when the iPad will turn on. Okay. Uh, the LCD looks good. Let me just go and again turn off the dark mode just to check the backlight if everything is okay before we start to clean the glue. The arc, I guess it's called. Okay, everything looks fine, I guess. It's a bit nasty, but <laughs> I guess everything is okay. The sensor works perfectly. And uh, now let's go and I will show you how to clean the glue from the LCD. Let's go. Now, basically you can just start cleaning with alcohol or do as I do, which I take a big uh, cloth viscose polyester. <laughs> I guess that's what I call this small uh, yellow pieces. I just Google it and cut it to small pieces and then uh, sipped it in alcohol and put it on the screen for like one to two minutes uh, and then remove it. It will make the glue easier to remove and clean and then repeat the step until you can just remove the glue without any hard scratching on the screen. And uh, also remember always to be aware uh, of the edges because of the backlight. And uh, I guess that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to speed uh, the whole process. Okay, so this is how the 
OCD will look like after cleaning. Again, it's very, very hard. It's more uh, complicated and harder than uh, cleaning the sensor because of the backlight. So you have to be very careful. And here I am, <laughs> the reflection on the screen uh, on my camera and my face. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, let's go and test the um, sensor and the good LCD together. I will speed forward the process again. It's going to be a very, very long video. Okay, uh, the iPad turned on, everything is connected beside the Touch ID, of course, and uh, just be more comfortable with the camera okay here we go and uh, pull up the backlight on the screen let's go and open something just white just to make sure that the backlight I didn't uh, sip any alcohol inside the backlight between the backlight and the LCD of course and I guess everything looks okay the sensor works perfectly and okay now we are going to um, put uh, the first layer of the glue on the sensor itself and then glue it on the LCD let's go okay we've glued the Oka glue on the sensor itself and of course it has uh, some bubbles between the sensor and the glue so we have to get rid of and then we will uh, do the last part, which is gluing the sensor to the LCD itself. Uh, of course, using this, which is the metal mount, it's called the metal mount, you can Google it. Uh, it's the same for the iPad mini 4, the same as in iPad mini 5. So don't worry if you have it for mini 4. Uh, but of course, before that, uh, we are going to put the sensor inside the um, machine called laminating the bubbler, which I have, uh, it's called IDA. Uh, laminating the bubbler in one machine and uh, of course uh, then I'm going to uh, show you how we are going to glue uh, the sensor to the LCD. As you can see, the screen looks perfect. Uh, of course, I mentioned something shocking uh, that earlier in the video that this um, I'm going to talk about <laughs> the shocking thing, uh, which is this iPad is my personal new iPad. Uh, it was iCloud locked with bad LCD. I bought it for like 60 bucks, I guess, uh, for like eight months ago. And I removed the iCloud, uh, of course, uh, from Apple service because it's a 12 chip and uh, the hardware unlock method is not working for now. Apple changed something with the UDID security stuff. I guess you can just Google it and search uh, for it on iPhone wiki. And anyhow, the iPad had only one cycle count battery with 100% health. 
and uh, then I bought a broken glass, a good LCD screen from eBay for 40 bucks. So I guess total cost to repair this iPad is 270 bucks. And uh, I got this cool iPad again. Uh, the cool thing is that I still have everything original or OEM. Uh, as they say, original sensor and the original LCD. So that for this one, 270 bucks. Not too shabby, I guess. And uh, almost a new iPad rather than buying from Apple for 400 or 50 bucks for it. Uh, I mean, I always love the 7.9 inch screen iPad. So as you can see, everything looks fine. Everything looks perfectly. The backlight is awesome. Everything works perfectly. So I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, always please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. And uh, as always, stay safe and uh, have a good day. And I will catch you later in another repair video. Peace out.